Let's go ahead and click on the drop down where it says customize layout. And as you can see, we've got uh, very similar print options that we had on the pack slip. However, there are a few new options on this one. We've got the show goods analysis, which is new. We've got the show item remarks, which is new. And then we've got the show art production comment, which is new. All right, let's hit them one by one. The print job on new page. We explained to you that each design will have its own printout if you select this option. On the show good summary, this is where we can actually scroll down and we can see the good summary here on uh, the work order layout. And then the show goods analysis. This is actually a really cool one. Let me go ahead and scroll down to show you this. So this is now putting the layout of the different sizes in like a grid type format. And I really like this idea because it's now highlighting uh, the order quantity, uh, the quantity that we've received in, quantity that got pulled from stock, um, and then the quantity, if we've purchased or not, that is appearing on the PO, and then any amounts that we've received in. So this is a very nice option. Um, I would actually train production to be able to say, no, I can't run this job if any of the received numbers was zero, for example. Um, so I do like the goods being uh, purchased slash received in analysis. I do think this is a great uh, feature. I would almost turn off to save space uh, the good summary in order to keep the goods analysis on. I do like that feature. Okay, the next one is the show item remarks. And this is a new one. And I'm going to show you real quick where it's going to get the item remarks from. I'm going to quickly add one and then show you how it appears on the work order. All right, I've, as you can see, I've added my remark line down here. And remember the one medium white dress shirt was not getting any embroidery we can see that here so i added a remark line knowing that this is going to print on the work order um, that says this shirt will not be embroidered it's just another fail safe for sending this over to production and just reminding them look this shirt is not getting embroidered so when you get the pile of shirts Go find that medium and just put it aside so it doesn't accidentally get embroidered. All right, let's head back to the print work order. And let's click on the customize layout. And we've got that show item remarks turned on. So let's scroll down where we can see that. And as you can see, it prints very nicely in red here. So underneath the medium shirt, and this is the other reason why I like the goods analysis um, preferred over the goods summary, is it will print that remark line right there. So definitely do not turn off uh, the goods analysis on your uh, work order printout. Okay, we're on the show imprints option. And just remember, this is going to allow the zoomed and placement image to literally print on your work order. So uh, leave that checked if you want those items on, uncheck it, and do not forget to hit apply um, once you uncheck something or once you check something, just make sure you're hitting that apply button. I'm going to repeat that again in a little bit because it's, um, it's just not going to take effect until you hit that apply button. All right, the show additional charges. I'm going to knock that one out with the show other charges. Remember that appears on the very last sheet. So here's the additional charges. Here's the other charges. And again, if you don't have those as a line item on your sheet, there's going to be nothing to print. So these will only uh, show up when you have that feature turned on if you literally have these charges on the order. 
All right, let's jump to the next one, which is the show art production comment. And again, this is uh, strictly just for the work order. So I'm gonna show you really quick where the production comment is. We'll show you how it prints on the work order here. First, it's important to understand that the art production comment is really setup notes. So we're gonna click on the art progress circle, whether you do that from the order or from the job board, either one. And I'm going to go into the very first uh, design number. And then I'm gonna click on the production option, click on setup notes. And so as you can see in here, I've typed two pieces of light cutaway crisscrossed ballpoint needles 7511. Remember in the setup notes, this is where I wanna type in the recipe of the design, things that production needs to be reminded of. This is what we did the last time. It came out perfect that way, so we wanna do it the same way this time. These are the setup notes, and this is what it's referring to when it says art production comment. So let's go ahead and hit save here. Let's go back to the print work order and let's go to the customized layout. And here's that show art production comment. And then let's look and find where it appears on the work order. So here it is right here under production comment. So two pieces of light cutaway crisscross ballpoint needles 7511. Anything that you want to tell production, whether it's how to run the job or the fact that it needs folded and bagged afterwards or whatever, whatever you need to tell production, this is where that comment's gonna go. All right, the next one is show art measurements. And you can actually find that right above uh, the art of production comment. So let's scroll back down and you can actually see the measurements here uh, on this particular design. The show art approval comment we said in the pack slip one, which this allows to be printed on the pack slip, is the comment that we typed in when we were entering the zoomed in placement image. So let's find that real quick. So over here, it shows up as the approval comment. Design looks like a patch, but is not a patch. That's the art approval comment. The next option is the show which items get a particular imprint. I'm gonna scroll down and again, just reiterate that it is this right here because remember on this design, um, we weren't going to embellish the one medium. So this is just showing me all the items that are getting the particular imprint. We already discussed the show other charges, so let's move on to show names and numbers. And you can see that right here. And just real quick, I just wanna show you this little icon right here. Notice it looks clickable because it's in blue here. So I'm just gonna click on that and notice how it says copied to clipboard. How cool is that? So now I can actually uh, open up my cutter. I can open up um, whatever uh, software I want and paste these options in. Um, so that's pretty cool. And you can use either the name or uh, the number uh, to do both. And then don't forget the next option is the show names and numbers comment. And that's this little verbiage that you see right here. So notice how um, Bob is getting black thread, Jim is getting black thread, etc., etc. But then we come down to Aaron and he's actually getting lime thread for his name. Um, so I put a little comment in on the names and numbers option and it says Aaron is the only one getting lime thread. 
The last two options on the work order layout options is the show job totals and the show order total quantities. Those are two different things. So in my order, I have two jobs. One is the embroidered dress shirts and the other one is the embroidered caps. And so the job totals are just that for each job that was entered in uh, to the order. So here's the totals for uh, job number one. And then if I scroll down, here's the totals for job number two. And then remember the order totals summarize everything for job one and job two, and that prints at the very end here. Just one more thing I wanna show you is in the company setup now, you do have the ability to um, create some default layouts. So let's go look at that right now. So we just entered the company setup, and as you can see, there's a new option here called print settings. Let's go ahead and click on that now. And then you can see that there is a custom work order layout option. So let's go ahead and click on that. When we expose the custom work order layout option, it gives us an option to create a new print profile. So I'm going to click on that now. And the first thing I'm going to do is give this particular work order layout a name. And I'm going to call this production. And then I'm going to turn off various things that I just don't want printing on the production part of the work order layout. 